Tesla's battery production plant at its Gigafactory in Grünheide, Germany, is reportedly beginning to take shape, as the first walls of the building have already been erected on site. Earlier this month, the automaker began the construction of the foundation of the world's largest battery factory, Tesla Giga Berlin, which is slated to produce 4680 new structural cells that the company unveiled at the Battery Day event last year. Tesla's chief executive officer, Mr. Elon Musk, originally announced plans for the company to set up a new vehicle production facility in Europe in November of 2019. Labeled as Giga Berlin due to its proximity to the city, the electric car maker plans to use the facility to start Model Y production in October, pending the government approval for the main production building where the assembly is set to happen near completion. As vehicle production gains momentum at the site, the automaker seems to have focused on bringing the Giga Berlin's 4680 battery factory to life, according to some new photographs shared on Twitter by a Tesla follower at GF4Tesla. It looks like the battery factory is beginning to take shape nearly 10 months after Tesla had been granted preliminary approval to actually build the site. Tesla Giga Berlin has run into some delays in achieving the government approval to start the production of cars and 4680 cells. At this point, the company is yet to receive the main approval for the battery factory, but in mid-September, the facility is reported to have received two additional pre-approvals from the Brandenburg State Environment Agency. Tesla Giga Berlin 4680 cell production project has recently gained rumors of financial support from the federal government and the state of Brandenburg, according to some media reports from Germany. A local media outlet, Tagesspiegel, reported that Tesla's battery factory could receive from the Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy subsidies amounting to 1.135 billion euros. As per the local government updates, the project could be included into the European Union's important project of Common European Interest Initiative. The government is extending subsidies to Tesla through the Automakers Initiative, referred to as Clean and Cost-Efficient Assembly and Recycling of Batteries, Facilitating Renewables of Electrification in Europe, or CARB-free. The project qualified for one of the programs in the important project of Common European Interest Initiative. Earlier this year, Tesla secured public funding from the important project of Common European Interests after winning in a program called the European Battery Innovation Project. The Commission already approved 2.9 billion euros worth of funds for this project that focuses on battery innovations and production at Giga Berlin. Since Tesla Giga Berlin will start building vehicles before 4680 battery cell production ramps up, the automaker will have to ship these cells from the Cato Road facility in Northern California to Germany to be installed in its models produced at the factory. Tesla's Giga factory in Grünheide will face stiff competition from other companies which are also planning to produce this something like 4680 battery cells. For instance, StoreDot, an Israeli firm, has also announced that it would be producing the same kind of battery cells starting in 2024. StarDot is looking to use its XFC technology, where silicon is used in the battery and predominates in the anode composition. According to the company, this type of technology ensures great versatility in terms of scalability and battery chemistry. Other than StoreDot, other companies are also actively engaged in conducting the first test of the 4680 battery cell prototypes in the EVE Energy Laboratories in China. These are BP, TDK, VinFast or Daimler, and so on. The 4680 battery cells are expected to recharge their capacity in just 10 minutes, according to the companies designing them. The 4680 battery promises six times more power and five times more energy capacity than the 2170 and 18650 battery cells. While there is still a lot of time before we actually see the 4680 battery cells in mass production, Tesla is planning to install them in the initial Model Y builds that will first roll out at the Berlin Gigafactory. And the truth is that the use of these larger cells will make it possible to improve the battery's energy density. This will in turn lower the production costs of the batteries, 
which will mean a reduction in the price of Tesla's electric cars. These battery cells are also expected to support the production of Tesla's upcoming cars, like the Tesla semi-electric truck, Tesla Roadster, and the all-electric heavy-duty pickup truck, Tesla Cybertruck. As of now, Tesla will be using the 2170 cells in the first units of Model Y vehicles that will first roll out of production lines at new car production plants in Berlin and Texas. Tesla is currently facing a challenge in designing a cooling system for its 4680 cells. However, there is a hint that the automaker could use immersion cooling as a heat dissipation feature. Upon Giga Berlin completion, the outspoken CEO of Tesla expects the facility to be one of the largest battery manufacturing plants in the world. Last year, at the European Battery Conference Day, Mr. Musk noted that Giga Berlin would be the largest battery cell plant in the world and would be capable of producing more than 100 gigawatt hours of power per year or even 200 to 250 gigawatt hours per year of production. To meet the ever-increasing demand for Tesla's vehicles in Europe and other regions, the automaker has been shipping Model 3 and Model Y builds from its factory in Shanghai, China, to Europe. However, as the production nears for these vehicles in Germany, the exports of Model Y crossovers may begin to decrease as the facility picks up, which could supply the European market with over 500,000 units annually in its first year. The new Model Y SUVs from Tesla's Giga Berlin and Giga Texas will feature some design improvements such as single casting for parts and many, many more. You just cannot argue with the fact that Elon Musk seems to have found the way of almost magically changing the mood of German politicians and solving many other issues in Europe. However, he did not stop there. Tesla recently broke ground on a new production facility referred to as Mega Factory in Lathrop, California. The facility will produce Megapacks, the company's large-scale energy storage products. Tesla's Megapacks are stationary energy storage batteries used to store additional energy captured from Tesla's solar panels. A single Megapack unit is made up of a 3 megawatt hour battery pack, integrated power electronics like converters, thermal systems and controls. The automaker claims that a single mega pack is about 60% more energy dense compared to its power pack. Moreover, a mega pack unit comes on site ready for installation. Tesla's mega packs are currently being utilized by notable energy projects on the globe, including new project in Contego, West Sussex, UK, Victoria in Australia, and Moss Landing. As of now, Tesla's energy division exclusively manufactures Megapacks, Powerwall, and Powerpacks at Gigafactory Nevada. But now, it looks like the automaker is going to add a second facility in California. As per images shared by Tesla Club, the upcoming Megafactory is situated in Lathrop. Lathrop is a city in Northern California near Tesla's Gigafactory in Fremont. It is also located along Tesla's 870,000 square foot distribution center. Reports of the previously Tesla Mega Factory were confirmed on Facebook by Sony Dhaliwal, mayor of Lathrop. We are proud to be the home of the Mega Factory, Tesla's most recent expansion here, Dhaliwal wrote in a post. He even went ahead and shared some photos of a groundbreaking ceremony. Speculations of a possible Megapack plant in California swirled around through the Tesla community over the past weeks, when a reputable insider, Sawyer Merritt, noted the electric car maker could be exploring plans to set up a new Megapack production plant using Cadel LFP battery cells. But now, it looks like the rumors were actually true, according to the photographs of the facility. Interestingly enough, the construction of a second facility for Megapack production was expected, according to Tesla's CEO Elon Musk. During the second quarter 2021 earnings call, the billionaire noted that Megapacks were already sold out for 2022. Mr. Musk also predicted that the demand for Tesla's Megapacks would be in the excess of 1 million units a year. And most recently, the company added these products to its website, 
so that customers could purchase them easily. The price of each mega pack is around $1 million, according to Tesla's website. With a new facility coming up, the demand for sustainable energy projects can continue to soar while the automaker battles it through mass production of the products at its mega factory in Lathrop. Of course, Tesla's new production facility in California won't start production anytime soon, but once it becomes active, it will likely support mega pack production at Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada.